Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you step by step how you can model in the fastest way possible this pipe joint in AutoCAD 3D. Without any other hesitations, let's get started. Before every single drawing, the units are very important. So in order to set them correctly, let's go and write units. And here it will appear a window with many options. Let's select here the precision only with two decimals. Let's select the international system. For today, we will work in centimeters. And when it comes to angle, it is also good with one decimal or with two decimals. So it is up to you. And then press OK. But today we will need some settings also. So let's write the settings. And here we need to select, especially of the 3D, we need to select the center of the face. And here we need to have also the center, the endpoint, and the quadrant. So select those which you actually need it. And then press OK. Now let's start our drawing through a polyline. So write plane, OK, and start from a random point, it doesn't matter. But here let's write the first dimension, it will be 10. And then we will go down with five units. Now press escape, double click on the mouse wheel and we have our polyline. Here we need to apply a fillet. So write fillet, air from radius, four units. Now let's go with the 3D space to have a better view. So this is the XY plan. We need to construct here two circles. So let's go to the left plan, which is located over here. And as you see, we have YZ axis. So we need to change it. So write UCS and now write view. And here it is. Now we are in the 2D space again. Now we are able to draw in this plan. Let's rotate it a little bit. And now let's construct our first circle. So write circle command starting from this point. It is actually the end point. And here we need to draw a circle with a radius of 1.8. The next circle will have the same center. So let's write circle starting from the same point And we'll have here instead of 1.8, we'll have two units. Now let's go here and change it from 2D wireframe, change it into shaded. And now let's go to the sweep command, select both circles, enter, and now let's select the path. So this is our path and then press enter. Now, as you see, we have inside two solids. Let's click here and let's have a look. So I select both. So it is obvious that we have 3D solids. Now to have our hollow pipe, let's apply to subtract command, select the bigger one, enter and now select the interior one or you can also select both hold the shift key and select the exterior one and press ok now we have an entire hole here so it is basically a hollow pipe let's continue now we will stay also in the same plan so let's go to the top and let's construct our next circle so try to select this interior one so the same center because here we'll design another circle with a radius 1.8 so it is the same circle basically on the interior to be our work easier Let's select the solid, right click and go to isolate because we need to isolate it, hide objects. And now we have just this circle. Inside of it, we need to construct another circle. So it is again a circle from the same center again with the radius 3.6 for this time. And we need to construct a line too here. So let's apply the line command from a quadrant to the other quadrant. And here we need to construct again a circle, but for this time it is a circle with a radius of 0 0.5. You can delete now this line, right click erase or just press delete key. And we need to apply it for another five times. So let's apply the ray command, select our circle, enter, let's select polar and now the axis. So this one it will be, we need six circles, okay, it is fine, and then press enter. Now to be separate objects, select this polar array and press the X from explode, because now we have six separate circles, as you see. Let's move on, let's go to the home button, right click parallel, and now let's go to the extrude. Go to extrude, right mode, because we need the solid mode, and select all these faces and press enter. Now let's go in this direction, in the left direction, in our case, and write 0 0.4 units. And now let's write subtract again, because we need to select the bigger body, enter, and now all the other bodies. So you can select everything and now hold the shift key and select with the mouse the bigger body and then press enter. And here it is. 
Now let's unhide the object. To have a better view, right click, isolate and objects isolation and here it is. Now it is the time to change again the plan. So for this time we will draw in the right plan. Let's switch it up and here we need to write again UCS and now view to have x y axis here to be easier to draw so from the same center let's construct another circle so the first circle is in the previous part with a radius of 1.8 exactly the interior diameter now select both solids right click isolate hide objects and let's go to the top plan here we need to construct another circle from the same center so right circle pick up the center and we'll write 3.6 this circle we must copy it so select it write copy and we will copy on a distance of 6.2 units here we need to construct a line so write the line command hold the shift key right click and go to tangent select the tangent point randomly shift key again right click tangent and here it is now let's use the mirror command for two times so right mirror select this line enter be sure you have the ortho command active and now let's draw a parallel line erase our subject no and now let's select those three mirror and we will draw a line perpendicular erase our subject no and now let's use the trim command And let's use these arches because we need to draw again two circles. So circle, a circle with a radius of one. The same circle we'll draw in the other direction. So it is a radius of one. And to have one single boundary, because as you see, there are lines, there are arches, let's select everything and let's apply the join command to have one single boundary. Let's go now to the home plan parallel and now let's use the extrude select everything enter and now let's go in this direction with 0.4 subtract and select the bigger body as you know enter and now the other three bodies or you can select everything shift and just click it and here it is now let's end the isolation right click isolate and objects isolation and here it is as you see we have three solids so solid one solid two and the third so instead of having three solids let's have just one solid and let's use the union command so union select all the objects and enter and now as you see we have one single solid and for the final part let's go and let's apply fillet edge so fillet edge now let's select those two the first one the second one okay and let's write the radius now and the radius it will be 0 0.2 enter enter and here they are you can see it now and let's use also the chamfer edge which is located right here and select all these edges and now let's write distance and let's write 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and enter again. Enter, enter, and here it is. The same thing we'll do it in the other side as well. So chamfer edge. Let's select these edges. Distance, 0 0.1, enter, 0 0.1, enter, enter, and here it is and for the final part let's add a little bit of color so let's write matte browser open and let's pick up here for example aluminium let's go to polished and let's change here into realistic to have a better view also you can choose whatever material you want iron copper and so on but i will let it with aluminium I hope this video helped you. If you ask questions, don't hesitate to let them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.